Good evening, everyone. My name is Tasha the Boss Chick, and I'm here to show you how to calculate pips, all right? So when you're calculating your basic uh, most traded pairs, everything except JPY, okay? Talk about your foreign currency, USD, EUR, NZD, uh, AUD, GBP, those pairs, this rules applies to calculating pips, okay? So say you enter the market at 1.1625, okay? We're trading USD, CAD. You enter the market at 1.1625, okay? And you are on a <coughs> buy. You wanna buy? So when we're in a buy, we want the market to go up. So if you want to, if you want to catch ten pips, ten pips and dip, right? You want to catch ten pips, ten pips. Where do you add the ten to? Okay, you got the pip and the pip at back here. Okay, we're gonna add the ten pips to our number because we want the market to go higher because we're in a buy. So we're gonna add ten pips, guys. Looking at the decimal, you want to go one, two, the third and fourth number is what you're going to add to add on 10 pips. So we're going to put our 10 there. When you're doing any currency pair like these that does not include JPY, and I'm not talking about commodities or crypto, this is how you do it. You're going to add the 10 to the third and fourth number and bring the numbers down. So this is our TP our take profit point that we will set in our phone in case we fall asleep, want to set it and forget it, is 1.1635. That means you have made money if the market went up in a buy, you added 10 pips, you wanted to only catch 10 pips, this is your new take profit point, and the market will close you out when it hits that. That's how you add pips. Let's say you want to catch 20 pips, okay? You want to catch 20 pips and you enter the market at 1.1650. Got it? We want to add 20 pips and we're in a buy. We want the market to go up when you're in a buy. So I'm going to add 20 to the, go to the decimal, one, two, third, and fourth number. So add 20, bring my zeros down, five and two is seven, six, one, one. This is our take profit. Okay? That's how you calculate pips. When you're in a buy, you want to catch 10 pips going up to a higher price. But if we're in a sale, it's a different story. When you're catching pips, we catch pips going down, right? Okay? We want to catch pips going down in a sale. When you're selling, you want the market to drop and go down. So, to get your take profit, you subtract. Subtract to get TP when in a sale. So when you're in the sale, you subtract to get your 10P. So we want to catch 10, 20 pips going down. We started and entered the market here. So now we want to subtract 10, sorry, to get our TP. I should have been a doctor, right? So anyway... Zero minus zero is zero. Remember, we only affecting the third or fourth number from the decimal. Five minus two is three. Bring down our six. Automatically bring down the rest of the numbers. This is our TP. This price point is lower than where we entered. And that's what we want. In a sale, you want the market to drop. I caught 20 pips, okay? So let's trade something else. Let's say it's a JPY pair. This is where you change it up. USD, JPY. Why? Whenever you're trading the JPY pair, you are going to add and subtract to the first and second number after the decimal, okay? You're going to add and subtract to the first and second number after the decimal on a JPY pair. So if we're in a sale and we want to catch the market, we want to catch 10 pips in a sale. JPY pair, we're going to 
manipulate the first and second number after the decimal. So we want to catch 10 pips, so we're going to put the 10 here. We're subtracting because it say sell. We want the market to go down. Zero, bring down our zero. Five minus nothing is five. Six minus nothing is six. This becomes a zero, one minus one. This is our new TP. That's our take profit point. That's how you set parameters in your phone, okay? This is our take profit point. This is where we want the market to secure the bag, all right? Let's do another one. Yeah, I'm probably going fast, but guess what? You can rewind this. You can always rewind and go back and look at it, okay? So remember, when you're trying to get your TP, your take profit, if you're in a sale, you want the market to go lower. So you're going to subtract however many pips you're trying to catch, okay? I don't like to do long videos because people are always on the time frame, and I want you to be able to learn, get it, and keep it moving. You remember this strategy. If you overdo it, then you got you start overthinking and you mess all up, right? All right. So say we're in on a buy. What do we want the market to do? Go up, okay? We're trading uh, NZD or AUD JPY, Australian dollar versus Japanese yen. You enter the market at 0 0.903. This is where you enter. You're on a buy. So do we add or subtract to get our take profit? We're going to catch 25 pips. I see a good set of trade. I see that we can catch 25 pips. And we're going in on a JPY pair. Remember, this is special. JPY pairs are special. You're always going to add and subtract to the first and second number after the decimal, you're pipping your pipette, okay? So we're going to add 25 to the first and second number after the decimal. Bring down my 4, 3, 5, 11. So our take profit is 1.1534. If we're catching 25 pips, bam, that's money. Pips equal money, okay? Pips equal money. So let's do another one to make sure y'all got it. If we're in on a sale. Now it's the it's vice versa for a to find out your stop loss. So say you enter the market here, okay? And you want you're in on a buy, and you're only willing to risk. That means you want the market to go up. So you want the market to go higher than this. However, if the market drops and goes the opposite direction. How much are you willing to risk? So say you say, well, you know what? I'm going to stay in the market at least till it goes 10 pips in the wrong direction. So that means you're going to set your stop loss. Let's see what our stop loss would be. So 10, we're going to add or subtract 10. Now we're in a buy, but to get your stop loss, you need to do the opposite of a buy. So you would subtract. If we add to give or take profit, we're going to do the opposite to get the stop loss, okay? If you add for your TP, then subtract to get your SL, which is your stop loss. So we already got our take profit point because we was catching 25 pips going up. But on this one, I'm only going to give myself about 10 pips. If it go the wrong direction, just close me out. Don't take all my money with you, okay? So I'm going to subtract 10 from the first and second number after the decimal because this is a JPY pair. It's a special pair, okay? So bring down my 4, bring down my 3, bring down my 0. 9 minus 1 is 8. Bring down my 0. This is my stop loss. And that's your quick lesson with the boss chick. Okay. God bless y'all. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe to my YouTube and rewind. Look at this chicken scratch all over again. God bless.